It's really difficult knowing how to start this video because it's not a video I expected to do. <laughs> so I'm sitting here trying to figure out how how I should start it out. We're about to hit 100,000 subscribers on the channel, which is insane. I never thought we were going to hit 100,000 subscribers when I started the channel. So I made a list here of different things I wanted to talk about because I don't know what to say for this video. It's, it's sort of a weird video to make because it's a very big milestone for the channel to hit 100,000 subscribers. So um, I, I have a lot of things here I want to talk about. Before we do that, I, I found something fun today that I wanted to share with you. I found this at the store today, which is a old NES console. I think this is a NES console. It just says Nintendo Classic Mini. So I guess this was the first console that Nintendo made. I'm not, don't hang me up on it because I'm not sure, but I found this, which is a fun thing to find because when I grew up as a kid, I first stepped into this love of technology when I played on my NES for the first time. We got it from our aunt. Uh, she had one from, she was a kid and she gave us one that we played on and then later on we switched it out for a PlayStation 1 because a guy wanted to buy it from us and give us a PlayStation 1 instead when it just came out. So as a little kid, we played on this as our first console ever and I thought it was kind of a fun thing to find in the store because this is like a mini version of it that you can hook up to a TV and then it has pre-installed games from that specific console. So sort of as a nostalgic, uh, nostalgic I can't say that word, nostalgic thing, we decided to buy it so I could try and play one again. So I became a geek from playing this console back when I was a kid and it sort of spiraled up to this, you know, nerdy thing where I was sort of the family nerd that kept playing video games as a kid and I was always the outcast because none of the other, you know, family members I had, they didn't love playing video games or love technology in the same way as I did. I always spent time at home playing on my computer which at that point you know, like 20 years ago was not that good. Uh, I loved playing on my PlayStation 1 or my NES at that point when we did actually have one. I don't think this is a NES. Again, don't don't hang me up on it. Uh, but I loved playing this console when I was a kid and I was always doomed to be sort of the, the outsider of the family because I, I wasn't like everyone else in the family. Um, there's a couple of things I want to mention before that. First of all, as you may notice, my YouTube channel has taken a shift in design and the way that I make videos since I started doing YouTube. It has changed quite a lot throughout the time. It has changed many times. Right now, I'm at a point where I want to make my channel more personalized. So as you can see, my face has been, you know, plastered on everything, every single thumbnail that I have on my channel, uh, at least when it comes to these teaching courses I have. And I have a face cam in the corner of my videos now. So that is sort of a new thing I didn't do in the past because I thought it was sort of weird. But because I wanted my personality to become part of the videos, I, I, I got a lot of comments from everyone that subscribed from me and people who didn't subscribe that they liked my voice in the video. So I thought, why not try and put my face on them and then let's see what happens. So, so far I've gotten some really good responses from it. So I hope my uh, whole dream about making my videos more personal has sort of borne fruit and sort of make my channel more personal. So uh, that is a thing from now on. So. Even if there's people who doesn't really like my face cam because the thing is unnecessary or distracting, I still think it's a, a great thing to have on my videos. So it's, it's a personal thing. A channel is always personal. So if I personally like to have my face on my videos, then of course that is what I should uh, go for. Now, just a fun fact. When you see my videos and I talk on them and I don't mention this, I don't think I mentioned it before. When you see a video that I teach on this channel and you see cuts in the video, it's not because I'm making cuts for the video to look cool. I make cuts because I I screw up all the time when I my, do my recordings. I want my videos to be perfect when I do them. So if I, and you've already seen me like mess up my words because English is not my native language. When I mess up a word, I cut it out. And then I psych myself out and I mess up the words for the next half hour and I have like half an hour of footage that I cut out because it's not good enough. So when I record something, let's say a video that is 15 minutes long on this channel here, I end up recording for about one and a half hour for 15 minutes of video. So that is sort of a habit I have every single time I have to do videos and I'm trying to sort of convince myself that being personal also includes 
if I screw up a word, I can sort of laugh at it and make fun of it and then just continue teaching. But my perfectionism inside my brain tells me that I need to cut it out. So I'm still working on that and I hope that in the future my videos are going to be more like flowy and just, you know, even if I mess up a word, I'm just going to continue teaching. So uh, there's a lot of things that I'm working on. Now, something I would like to have on my channel here that is also going to personalize my channel is to have a sort of vlog series that is not really going to be a vlog series, but I hope this is going to be a series that when I find something fun, technolo uh, te 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 technology wise, I'm going to continue here because I don't want to cut this out. Uh, when I find something fun, you know, regarding technology, I want to include it inside a video that is going to be part of a vlog episode. For example, if I find a... I'm not going to call this a NES anymore, I don't know what this is. When I find a Nintendo console from my childhood and I want to make a video of it, I want to include it into this channel. I'm going to put that inside that playlist because this is in fact a multimedia channel. And MM Toots, in case anyone doesn't know, it stands for Multimedia Tutorials. Right now on the channel, it is 95% programming videos. Multimedia is not just programming videos. It, it goes under that you have a lot of different media. So, when it comes to Photoshop, when it comes to video editing, when it comes to sound editing, when it comes to animation, when it comes to uh, hardware like, like a NES console, again, I don't know why I keep calling this a NES, it's not a NES. When it comes to different types of media, it belongs on this channel and right now I have made so many programming videos that the hundred thousand people that are watching this channel are mainly here for programming videos and I'm very terrified of switching over to channels or not channels playlists different courses that teach you something besides programming so my Photoshop course that I included not long ago I think about a month ago I was terrified to upload it because I thought it was going to get so bad comments and people are going to thumb it down and do all sorts of things to it to just destroy it because it's not programming. And if if everyone who dislikes it dislikes it because they, they don't like the fact that it's Photoshop and not programming, then it gives a false sense of is this video good or not. So this is something that I was terrified about when I had to upload a Photoshop video to the channel because it's mainly programming since I started the channel. I'm sort of scared because I want to do multimedia on the channel. I am still going to do programming. I'm not going to just suddenly switch away from programming because I love doing programming and a lot of the subscribers love doing programming with me. So it will always be a thing to do programming, but I would also like to incorporate other multimedia things. So I, I hope that people are going to be okay with you know, other things being included into the channel. Now, in my notes here, I also wrote that I want to talk about who I am and how I got here in the first place, because I think that story is very important to the fact that we hit 100,000 subscribers. So I think that is something I have to mention in this video here. First of all, for anyone who doesn't know who I am, maybe you're new to the channel, completely new, maybe you're the 100,000 subscriber to this channel and you don't know who I am. Uh, my name is Daniel Nielsen. I live in Denmark, so I don't live in the US, but fun fact, I did actually live in the US for about four years, some, some years ago, I think about eight years ago. Um, I finished high school in the US and then I moved back to Denmark to take my college degree or university degree, it's called, um, in multimedia design and web development. Now, before I started multimedia design, I did actually finish a degree in marketing economy, which I didn't want to use for anything. I sort of switched uh, career or what do you call education as I finished my marketing degree. Now, talking about my girlfriend, we love spending time together in our spare time. We are both sort of geeks. She doesn't want to admit it, but she sort of is. Uh, and we love spending time together playing video games and that sort of thing. Uh, fun fact, I do have another channel here on YouTube where I do play video games. I will leave a link in the description in case anyone is interested in seeing it. This channel is definitely my main channel. This is the serious channel. And the other channel is only for uh, sort of if I have some extra time to do another video. I'd like to upload some horror game gameplay to that channel. So that's sort of a fun side thing that I like to do from time to time. So, And having mentioned that, I think it's important to mention that my current upload schedule is sort of embarrassing because I don't upload that often as I should. 
Um, it's something I'm still trying to incorporate into my daily life because we have a lot of personal things to uh, take care of right now. So if you look at me thinking, well, you know, why isn't he uploading more? Um, I will be uploading more soon. Uh, but right now, because we're moving into a new house and, you know, some things happened that, you know, we had some things happen to us that were sort of not so good that made us move into the house. So uh, we're sort of trying to get adjusted here, which is it's going to take some time. But I think we'll soon get to a point where uh, I'm going to have more, you know, regular videos uploaded to YouTube, hopefully. I'm not going to make any promises because I have bad experience making promises and then I don't keep them. Uh, but this channel is always going to have at least one video a week getting uploaded. I just made a promise there, didn't I? But it's always going to have a video a week getting uploaded. Uh, I just can't promise to have one video every single work day during the week uploaded to the channel because I don't know where we're going to be in about two weeks from now. Now, going into something else, I would like to talk about how I actually got here in the first place. How I started doing YouTube and how I got started on a channel that right now has hit 100,000 subscribers. Since you're watching this video, that must mean that right now we're at a 100,000 subscribers. Let me just go ahead and refresh the browser and see where we're at right now. We were at 620 before, now we're at 627. So, it's moving up there pretty fast. So, hopefully within the next couple of days we're going to hit 100,000. So, now, when I started this channel, and you're actually gonna see something really weird. If you were to go to another link, for example, you know when you go to a YouTube channel, it has a link in the top of the URL. If you were to go to, you know, channel forward slash Sharmafis, or Sharmafis as we say in Danish, um, you're going to go to the same channel page. And that's because before I had this teaching channel where I've you know, called M and Toots. It was a gameplay channel called Shamafis, which is a really weird word in Danish. But you know, I, I can't change that. Uh, you can't on YouTube go in and change the URL a second time. So it is forever going to be Shamafis unless I contact YouTube or Google directly in order to get it changed. So it is going to be that URL forever. Um, but it started out as a gameplay channel back in. 2010 I think so it's about eight years ago and back then you know I didn't think I was going to be teaching stuff on the channel I started my education doing marketing economy and when I did that it took about two and a half years I finished that degree and I decided to switch over to multimedia design and web development and in there I met other people who were just like me and I figured while we were studying it would be sort of fun to upload teaching videos to my channel just for my classmates to see because a lot of them had trouble when it came to programming. So that's why I started doing programming on my channel because my classmates had the most trouble learning programming for their, you know, school and education. So that's why my channel right now mainly has programming lessons because that's what I started doing and that sort of became a trend on the channel that I continued with as it continued. Now. After I finished my multimedia design and web development degree, I noticed that my teaching channels were actually more popular than my gameplay channels. And by that time, when I was done with my web development degree, I still had gameplay videos and teaching videos on the channel. Some of you who are very early subscribers of the channel might still notice that, uh, that I had gameplay videos back in, in the days. And at that point, I had about 12,000 subscribers on the channel. And that is only about two years ago that I had 12,000 subscribers. Now, once I met my girlfriend, a lot of things changed in my life. And growing up, just to mention it, my family always told me regarding my YouTube channel that it's only a hobby. You can never earn a living doing YouTube. It's good allowance, you know, getting a little bit extra money just for fun. Um, so because I was told that by everyone in the family and friends and all of that i i had grown up thinking that you couldn't do youtube as a full-time job therefore i always treated it as a hobby then i met my girlfriend who has a little bit more experience when it comes to the same youtube culture that i'm I've grown up into, which is the same YouTube culture that you guys are part of, and she would tell me something that forever changed my life, which was that my family's opinion doesn't matter. 
if I want to do YouTube full time, then I should treat it as a job and it becomes a job that I can do full time. So what happened there was I took a serious look on my at my channel and that was the point where you guys saw me start to change my thumbnails, change everything about the design. A lot of things changed in the channel. I removed the gameplay videos and threw them away and everything on the channel became about teaching. And once I did that, at that point, I was at 12,000 subscribers on YouTube, which was a really good amount. I was very proud of having 12,000 people who followed me on YouTube. But two years ago, I was at 12,000 subscribers. I'd had my YouTube channel for about, I don't know, six years. And then throughout the next two years up until now, we have grown about 90 something thousand subscribers which was because I started doing YouTube and treating it as a full-time job. What I'm trying to get at here is that my girlfriend has been a huge support when it came to the channel. Without my girlfriend, there wouldn't be a mm 2 channel. Without my girlfriend, I wouldn't have been able to do YouTube full-time. Without my girlfriend, I would have been at a completely different spot in life that I would have been unhappy with. Fun fact, I wanted to become a university teacher when I grew up uh, teaching programming and that sort of thing. And YouTube made it possible for me to do it much earlier than I thought I could do it. So even though I did actually apply for jobs as a university teacher in the past, I loved doing YouTube more than I think I would doing a, you know, a real job as a university teacher because I can decide what I want to teach and if I get bored teaching something in a real job I would get stuck teaching the same subject over and over each year. On the channel here I can teach whatever I want to teach. So if I suddenly get a huge interest in C Sharp and I want to teach C Sharp on the, on the channel then I can do that. So I get a lot more flexibility with having a channel that I teach on compared to a real life job. I get a lot of questions from people saying why don't you just get a real job because it earns more money and that sort of thing. And the reason I don't do that is because it's, it's, because it's not my dream job. My dream job is to teach and it is to teach whatever I want to teach and it is to help people not just in one school but people all over the world. A huge philosophy I have on my channel is that I want teaching to be free. I don't do stuff like um, there's another website called Udemy, there's lina.com where people they actually go to and upload videos and they get payment in order to, you know, for people to watch their videos. And I don't want my YouTube videos to be something you have to pay for. It has to be free, it has to be accessible for anyone in the world who has internet. So it is very important for me that I don't upload to websites that require that people or users pay in order to watch whatever I want to teach. Now I sort of went off a sidetrack there because I wanted to talk about my girlfriend a little bit more. Uh, what I really want to say about that is without my girlfriend I wouldn't have been happy. And I know she's going to be watching this video. Um, she's going to be watching this video and she's going to be so happy that we hit 100,000 subscribers. And it is something that is just it, it makes me so happy that we hit the point. I'm gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. Breathe. Don't cry. When it comes to the support she has given me compared to any other person in my life, including my family, she has given me everything compared to other people. She has spent a lot of time uh, being interested in what I'm doing on the channel. She spent a lot of time working on things that you guys don't see on the channel. And I want you guys to be able to... I want you guys to know that a lot of the things you see on the channel is not something I've done solo. It's something I've had a awesome girlfriend who who loves spending time helping me out with the channel when it comes to everything such as thumbnails, design, banners, giving feedback on videos I've recorded, tell me what I should improve or shouldn't improve, you know, at least in her mind for the next videos. Um, she's done so much to help out on the channel and it's just so important for me to tell her that uh, she means everything to me.
trying not to get too emotional, I would like to talk about how we actually got here in this office. And as you can see, it's actually a fun thing because if you look inside the office, what you guys see is this over here. But fun fact, everything else around me is not as pretty as right behind me. I am actually living or not living. I have my office inside the camper that we used to live in. The entire camper has been converted into my office and it's for a few reasons first of all the sound is a lot better out here when you uh, when you record videos inside a square room this uh, the sound bounces off the walls and gives some really bad audio feedback so the camper is a lot more jacket and everything and it makes for a lot better sound even though it's much more tight and the second reason is the fact that because i uh, work from home. My girlfriend would always have to sort of tiptoe around the house in order to not disturb me while I was recording, which was not something I wanted to, to you know, sort of put on her shoulders that she had to tiptoe around constantly because I was working. So we decided that I had to move into this camper here with my office, uh, which is why right now you're not allowed to see basically this part of the office because it looks not so good. So uh, right now, this is where I'm recording at. Oh, and I almost forgot something, which is probably the most important thing that I could have forgotten, which is to say thank you for all the support you guys have given me, both on YouTube and on Patreon. Without you guys, we wouldn't have been able to make it to 100,000, and without you guys, I wouldn't have been able to do YouTube full time. So I just want to say thank you before I end up this video here. So, thank you. And I know that for my 50,000 subscriber video, I did eat some chili dressing. And in this video, we're not really going to do anything like that. I did actually plan to eat the world's strongest chili for this video. But I've actually been growing it over here, but it's not ready yet. And as you can see, when I pull it over here, um, it is still quite tiny. So it's not ready to be harvested yet. So <laughs> I couldn't do that for this video. But if it had been grown enough, I might have eaten it for this video. I don't, I don't know. It might be something a little bit later on then. Um, so again, I just want to say thank you for all the support you've given me and I will leave a bunch of links in the description. Go ahead and check those out. If you want to see something from my other channel, if you want to check out my Patreon, there's a bunch of things down there. So thank you for subscribing.